Welcome to the 504. I'm Sheba Turk and we are kicking off a brand new week, so we've got to do it with a lot of fun. Tonight we've got a new guest, Jennifer Papalatok, writes a travel, fashion and lifestyle blog. It's called Hot Off The Rack. Dot com is where you can find it. And Alfred Ranks, of course, is a musician. He's always got good stuff going on. Welcome to the show for the first time. And Alfred, welcome back. How are you guys feeling tonight? Great. Thanks so much for having us. Oh, we are so excited to have you. You've got a really cute dress on because you are a fashion blogger, so you yes. got to show up cute and yes, your hair is popping. Of course. Oh, thank you. Alfred, you're not doing so bad with the shoes and the hat either. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> does your head say sushi? Yes, it does. There's a brand here in New Orleans called Like Sushi, and I like repping them. So, and it goes with the shoes pretty well. Very nice. See, I just yeah. like sushi. I thought it was for people I who love too. sushi. Now, I eat sushi. <laughs> He's like, I also but eat nah, sushi sure, as well. Sure okay, well. well, let's dive in. We've got so much stuff to talk about indeed, tonight, indeed. and it's all like very controversial. All right, so the first one is this memo that Steve Harvey sent out to the staff of his talk show. He was laying out some of the rules for the staff because he says he's been taken advantage of because he's had lenient policies in the past. So let's talk about some of the rules, right? He says there will be no meetings in his dressing room, no stopping by or popping in. That's for everyone. He says he wants the ambushing to stop. He told his staff not to approach him while he's in the makeup chair unless he asks to speak with them directly. They either have to knock or use the doorbell. He says, I promise I will not entertain you in the hallway and do not attempt to walk with me. With, with me. Alfred, I'm going to start with you. What, how do you feel about the memo? Um, it's nothing more than what I usually hear with a lot of people of his stature. Um, the more famous and the more of a, uh, how do you say, people person that you're uh, marketed to be, yes. the less of an actual people person you are in real life. Oh my goodness. Um, I and I don't you... even know what the correlation usually is, but right. people that are extremely rich, extremely popular, that everyone that has like their own sausages and Walmart and stuff, <laughs> those are the people <laughs> that are usually the meanest. Now wait, the did end. you take it away? You think he's being mean? Yeah, <gasps> Jennifer, that's very mean. How do you I feel didn't about think the it had anything to do with like the popularity and the fame. I think pretty much everybody would like to do that in their own office, <laughs> to send out a memo to everybody to like, Before like leave me alone. Right. I feel like I mean sometimes I want to do that. Jennifer, sometimes I want to send out a memo to the family. Like, yeah. I'm not on call today. <laughs> I'm glad that we're divided here because this is basically what the internet is. There's people like Alfred who's like, Steve Harvey's a terrible person. He's so mean. And there's people like us. I'm like, do you know how many cousins, brothers, mothers, uncles that staff has brought to that show to annoy that man in his right. dressing room? And he's at work. That's what people forget because he's having fun and he's trying to be conversational. That's his job, that though. Is, he right. still needs to focus and get his work done. I'm all Steve Harvey on this one. But I, I get your I'm point. I have it. heard some other reports would like say to, he is mean. I would like to hear him say it in his own voice and not read it. Oh, now, I'm sure he was part. joking, too. Like, he even said things in there like, um, if you're reading this, <laughs> Yes, I'm talking to you. No, wait, I don't think any of it was a joke, Jennifer. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> because I'm surprised that people you... weren't copying and pasting what he said and then sending it out to the rest of their company. Well, this so. is how it got out mm. because somebody decided to leak it to a blogger who of posted course. it up. I think he was dead serious, <laughs> but I'm still on his team. And um, maybe he's mean in real life. I don't know him. But I wouldn't get that from this memo. No. Mm. Alfred seems to think differently. You Are may you be saying right. that you never want to send out that memo sometimes? I wouldn't say I wouldn't send, I don't want to send out that memo. I would, uh, I'm more of a, of a, of a, of an in-person type of person. Yeah. So if I have something to say, I would usually, you would address it. hey you guys, I want to chop in with y'all right quick. Look, first, blah, right. blah, blah, because you can convey whatever emotion that you truly ah. feel. Because yeah. when you read it in a text, paper, email, you don't know what was behind that. Now, that, that is a good sense. point. Maybe he yeah. should have called everybody together and said, stop showing up at my door. Right, because then it gets taken out of <laughs> exactly, context. Okay. Exactly. Then okay. fine, we'll, we'll find a happy medium on this one. Okay. Let's talk about Lil Bow Wow, who I know is not Lil Bow Wow anymore, but I'm going to call him Lil Bow Wow <laughs> till he dies. Me the too. internet has no chill <laughs> and will not leave him alone. He's been clowned again because he posted a picture of a private jet on Instagram with the caption, Travel Day, NYC press run for growing up hip hop. Let's go, I promise to bring y'all the hottest show ever, May 25th at WeTV. Here's the problem. Somebody else posted this picture. It's Bow Wow flying commercial. They said they were on that flight with him. It's mm. not a private jet. The mm. picture actually came from a stock photo on a Florida travel website. Mm. So social media responded with the Bow Wow challenge, which is hilarious. This person posted my desk for the day, hashtag bless, right? <laughs> so it's people pretending to do things they're not doing. The next one said, gosh, my BF likes taking pics of me, Bow Wow <laughs> challenge. But then it's actually just a fake hand. So Bow Wow went on Hot 97 to promote the new show that he's doing. And of course, the Bow Wow challenge was the first First thing that came up, so here's what he had to say when he was asked about it. I love it because 
people don't understand the scientific method to my oh. madness. <laughs> oh my I do. god. They really don't understand the scientific method to my madness. The si- Number one, the science. I'm about dog. to have the biggest show on We TV, period. Period. I'm saying that right now, period. We are less than what? How, when it's the 25th, but we got two weeks away, right? Mm-hmm. So it's a scientific method to my madness. You got to just watch the show. Everything is for the show. You got to just watch the show. Okay, so you're admitting that this was a troll. You got to watch the show. Okay, so apparently there was another incident where he posted a picture with some money that was not his. His explanation of that is shady, too. A lot of times what happens is people will see pictures like that and think, oh, he, nah, I never said that was my paper. I took the picture, but I put a nice quote underneath it. Right. So people run with it. Oh, he's trying to, I never said that was my bag of money. When you put a nice quote of a it, it ain't gotta be your. That does not make any sense. Is no. anybody <laughs> buying Bow Wow's explanation that this is fake? That he set this all up to trap us in? No, but I, I think that I'm obsessed with the whole Bow Wow challenge. I just like scrolled through. Me too. You can the hashtag. Hours of your life. People get so creative. He started yeah. a movement essentially. A, it was he genius. He always starts a movement, there, but it's always him being made fun of. Alfred, what do you think about um, Bow Wow? I want to be on his side. I don't. I hope, you know, he's doing shows. I hope he's getting money. I hope his show's very successful. He's getting money, but it's not his, remember? You know, and (laughs) but, you know, we live in a world now where he's he's gonna look crazy. And he (laughs) looks looks crazy. I was with a baby that I was holding and feeding, (laughs) but I never said it was my baby underneath the picture. (laughs) (laughs) You look crazy. I can't with Lobo. You are a joke at this point. He's a joke. But I really hope he's I thought it was smart though, because I mean Right now, any publicity is good publicity. No. So, I mean, when was the last time you looked up that Bow Wow? Is, that's, that's true. It, that, and that, we that don't even know any Bow Wow movie or song. I can't. I can't. Okay, even though there was Roll Bounce. I think that's what it was called. Yeah, it was, yeah. All right. It's all about the weird and unnecessary. When we come back, someone decided to combine drinking and yoga. It's really bizarre. <laughs> 